videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday and Sunday. Today's video is going to be a jeans comparison video. So this is primarily going to be jeans from the UK high street, comparing them all. They're all in a UK size 10. So we're going to have a look at the fit, the quality, the price, comparing them, seeing what's going to be best for you and seeing what works well for me because it might work well for you too. So we're just going to jump straight into the video and I'm going to focus on the first pair of jeans I've currently got on. Now I've just paired a white v-neck t-shirt with all of these outfits because that's just something nice and simple so that we can focus on the jeans. So these first pair of jeans are from Primark and these are the super stretch skinny high waisted jeans. Now these do have a little bit more of a jegging style feel. They're a lot more of a thin jegging material but with that being said you can definitely still wear them as a jean rather than a legging and needing to cover them up. So they are super high waisted which I do love. I look for that in all of my jeans to be honest. I just think it is much more flattering for most people's body shape. It is for mine anyway as I think it's cinched you in at your smallest point which for me is definitely my waist. I really like them to be high waisted as well so that when you sit down you know they're not showing any underwear off or giving you any kind of muffin top that you don't have so that is why I like high waisted as well as giving it a nice silhouette. So these ones are actually a little bit cropped as well. These are the ankle grazer length. I do have another pair from Primark which are just the full length but for these ones I decided just to go for the cropped look just to give it a bit of an edgier look to be honest and these are in like an acid bleach wash as well and I believe that these were either 8, 10 or 12 pounds. I'm really sorry that I don't know the exact price but that is because I did buy them a while ago and they have fluctuated in price since so somewhere between 8 and 12 pounds is what you can expect to pay for jeans in Primark. I think that is a really really good deal. Such a bargain. Now let me tell you in the past Primark jeans haven't always worked the best for me. I used to think that they were sized really really small and to be honest let me move on to something now. So usually I am a UK size 8 for everything except for jeans. I always usually size up to a UK 10 and that is because I really don't like the look of jeans that are too tight or where they're going to give you that extra bum cheek behind you know we've all experienced that every so often. So I just think when you go up a size for denim it fits a lot nicer. So these are a UK 10 and these are the most affordable jeans that I do own. I would say that because they are Primark they're not going to last you a few years. They're probably going to last me this year maybe into the next but when you're paying like eight pounds for them can you really complain about that so this is the first pair of denim jeans and these fit me exactly how I would want a pair of denim jeans to fit me to the second pair of jeans and I'm comparing these ones because they are quite a similar style as well. So these ones are from New Look and these are more a true denim colour and they're more a denim feel as well so these are like a true denim rather than like a jegging material and let me tell you that that makes the world of difference. So with these being a true denim they are nowhere near as stretchy. So these are the Jenna skinny jeans which are meant to be slightly high waisted. They're not meant to be super high like some of the other ones I'm about to show you but these still do say high waisted which is why I chose them but with them being that more regular denim they are definitely more restrictive and unfortunately it does give you that extra little bit of bum cheek at the back which sometimes I can go with depending on what I'm wearing it with but most of the times I just do not want to wear it so these are distressed as well and they're the same that ankle length and what I do really like about these is that it's got a raw hem around the ankle as well and distressing around the knees which so many jeans seem to have now but I really like the distressed look which is why I chose these these ones but my only downside is that these are so tight these do not fit me like I expect a UK size 10 to do these fit me how I would expect a UK 8 to do and I'm not sure if that's the, because it's the usual denim material and I know that size doesn't define anything but when I'm usually a UK size 8 I don't want to have to go up to a UK 12 even though size is just a number and it doesn't really matter let's be honest it does affect us and if you have to buy jeans that are two sizes bigger than what you usually wear that that doesn't make you feel good at all. Now I'm not saying that they need to go the opposite way and make everything fit big so that we feel good about wearing a certain size. No I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that they need to have like a standard size so that we don't put some jeans on and feel rubbish because they don't fit us. So yeah that's my view on these and these are in that 20 to 30 pound price bracket as well. So they still are a much more affordable jean than some other high street stores. So if you can find a fit that really flatters you then I think yeah great go for it. But just be aware that I think personally the sizing is quite small for New Looks denim. to 
probably my favourite high street shop to buy denim and that is Topshop. Now saying that I know some people find that a little bit controversial because they do not agree with me. I speak to so many people in real life and they are like oh no Topshop cannot stand their jeans, don't like their denim, the sizing is off. But for me it's perfect so I really love their denim and their UK 10 fits me exactly how I want them to. So like I said I am usually a size 8 in everything else in Topshop but again for denim I always just choose a size 10 and they have a couple of different styles that I have a few different jeans from. So the ones that I'm wearing now are the Jamie jeans and these are a high waisted ankle grazer and these ones are actually a little bit more expensive because they are embroidered so these ones are actually £59 so they are on the higher end but like I say that's because it does have so much embroidery on it. I know the Jamie jeans regularly are like 40 to 50 I believe so that is a lot better but they are still a little bit of a pricier jean but these ones just fit me so nice. The Jamie jeans are a true denim as well but they seem to have some kind of stretch in there which seems just to work really well for my figure and these are so nice they're high waisted but they're not super high waisted but they are still high waisted. I only say they're not super high waisted because I have got some that I'm going to show you which are super high waisted which are my faves but these are still high waisted enough for me. So if you want to have that real denim look rather than a jegging check the Jamie jeans out because they feel a lot more comfortable than some other jeans but they look like real jeans and they are real jeans they've just got stretch in them yeah I don't really know what else to say I'm probably just rambling on now so now we are moving on to my all-time favorite style of jeans at this moment in time so these are also from Topshop and these are the Joni jeans now I know a few years ago Joni did have like a big resurgence and everyone was wearing them because they are the disco pant style which means that they are super skinny and super high waisted and this just seems to work so well for my figure I love skinny jeans I like the feeling of something clinging to me on my bottom half I just think it's very flattering and like I say because they are so high waisted they cinch me in right at my smallest point I do have a really small waist and these sit so high up the cinch right in it and that is just so flattering to me and the ones that I'm currently wearing are actually white ones but I have got a pair in black and I have previously had a pair in blue I have bleached these a couple of times now when I say bleach I mean putting some water and like a cap full of bleach in like a big bowl and letting them soak overnight just to really brighten them up and let me tell you I've had all sorts on these jeans I've had tan I've had tomato sauce I am known for being clumsy and dropping my food and everything down it they've had grass stains on them they've had dog paw prints and everything has come off they're just so nice and what's really good about the journey jeans is they are super super stretchy so you can literally treat them like a legging so some people will really love that for me I think they're great because they just kind of suck everything in like Spanx and I don't think the journey jeans are too badly priced either they are in the region of 38 pounds I have seen them differing depending on on like what leg length or if it's a petite range or anything like that. Just for reference, when I'm in Topshop and I want a full length leg jean, I do get the 32 leg rather than the 30 because I just find that that sits better. So although I'm not a tall person, I do have fairly long legs and the 32 I think just works better. And I can just see myself wearing these jeans for so many years to come. I can wear them really dressed up. You can wear them for casual days. You can wear them on walk. So many different things. And I also, think I may have a dupe for you. So let's now move on to the next set, which I believe are an exact dupe for these white Jordan jeans. the dupe for the Topshop Journey jeans and these are from Zara. Now I recently went into Zara and found these and I could not believe my look. So apparently these are from the new collection but they're in the sale area. So these are meant to be $19.99 which already I think is a really good price and they were on sale for $9.99. So I couldn't tell you what price they are going to be but either of those is really good. If you can get it for like under a tenner though, bargain. And these to me fit exactly like the Journey jeans. So Zara are calling these the Joy life high rise shaper ankle length super elastic jeans now i know sizing in zara can be slightly different because it is european sizing so they tend to have like the extra small small and then like the 36 38 sizes but on my tag it says like the european size and then it says us 6 which i know is equivalent to a uk 10 so that's the size that i picked up so these are definitely a uk size 10 jeans and these fit exactly like i would want them to now with them saying ankle length i don't know whether that means 
they're meant to be a little bit shorter, a little bit longer. For me, they literally hit my ankle. So they're a little bit shorter than the Jodi jean, but they still are full length. They're not short and they're not trying to be ankle grazers or anything like that. So a perfect fit. They are slightly tighter than the Jonah jeans, but I believe that is because they're brand new. I think give them a few wears in, and because I've had my Jonas for so long, I think they'd just be as nice and elasticated as that. They do actually have a slightly thicker feel than the Jonah jeans, which can only be a good thing. It means that they'll look a little bit more like denim rather than leggings, especially when you're going for white jeans as well. With white skinny jeans, you have to be really careful for them not to look like any kind of white leggings. I mean, that might be the look that you're going for, but it's definitely not the look that I'm going for. So I want to make sure that my white denim is looking like jeans rather than leggings. but they are definitely a more expensive, pricier, higher end high street brand. So I personally found these in TK Maxx but I do know that you can find them online and also in I think House of Fraser. And originally these are meant to be around £70 but I managed to get them for £25.99 which you can see why when I saw them in TK Maxx I grabbed them because they just fit so nicely. These again are a high waisted jean. They fit very similar to the Topshop Journey jeans but they're definitely more of a classic skinny jean style rather than being legging influenced. So they are a dark wash to start off with and then they do have these lines across them which are kind of 90s, kind of noughties and I do kind of dig they're really nice. But what is the best thing I think about these jeans is they do look a lot more expensive. So when you think of the more expensive jeans brands you do think of like your Levi's and your classic 90s brands which do tend to be this sort of colour. And let me just tell you as well that the fabric is super soft on these. So sometimes you do get what you pay for and knowing that paying that little bit more for your jeans they're just going to look a lot nicer I think I just don't really know what else I can say about these I just really like the way they look the colour the fit everything about them just works for me not a lot more can be said about these except for if you can find yourself a pair in TK Maxx definitely get your hands on them so it's either called skinny high rise or skinny high waisted <laughs> which are from River Island. Now you may have noticed that all the jeans so far have been a skinny fit jeans and that's because mainly that is what I tend to go for, that is what I like. However, I am wanting to branch out into a bit more of a looser boyfriend kind of fit but what I really don't want from my jeans is for them to look too baggy. I still like them to look kind of form fitting. Now these ones are still high rise, high waisted but in fact these are a mum jean and they are distressed as well. Again, in the size 10. Now these are actually in the longer length because it didn't have a regular length but I do think that these are a really good length for me anyway. But the only thing that I have to say about these is I'm not sure if it's my body shape or whatever but to say they are a size 10 they are huge. So these are meant to be high waisted so they are meant to sit high up on my waist but if I put them there they just have like two dress sizes behind it. I've like got another half a person that I can fit in there. So they do fit like lower down but that's not why they're meant to fit like it definitely says high rise and yeah that doesn't work out for me that's kind of frustrating knowing that I want to buy skinny jeans in a size 10 but if I want to buy any other size jeans I'm probably like down a size I don't know I'm gonna have to try and get a size 8 to see if these will fit me the way I want them to fit but yeah that's kind of disappointing because all of the size 10 so far have fit very true to size in my personal opinion except for maybe new look which do fit a little bit on the smaller side but these ones especially because they are a mum jean. They are meant to be more relaxed. I know that I get that, but these are just off the chart. I am definitely not a size 10 in these jeans. So if I have learned anything from this, it is to definitely try on. Usually go for like your size or maybe size up one like I tend to do. But yeah, really kind of disappointed that these don't fit because I am really on the hunt for some boyfriend slouchier style denim that still hug me in all the right places. So if you do know of any brands, any high street shops that do denim you think I am looking for, then let me know in the comments down below because I am definitely going to check it out. And that is all for my high street denim compare test. I hope you have found this useful and that it's maybe giving you a little bit of advice on maybe what shops to check out, maybe what to do for sizing wise. I think it's just really good especially if you're going to be buying online as well so if you're not actually going into the stores it's always nice to see a video 
and a little bit of a size comparison to know what size you're going to be so I know personally I am usually always a size 8 so I might just want to go and buy a size 8 jean online but watching a video like this I would know not to get a size 8 and to go for a size 10 or vice versa on these looser jeans so that's why I wanted to create this to help everyone out there who is struggling with finding some good affordable denim and basically just what size to wear and seeing how they all do compare to each other as well so I hope you have enjoyed watching the video do make sure you subscribe to see more content from my channel I do have some very exciting videos coming up one in particular next week that is going to feature my mum we're going to be doing a little bit of an outfit challenge video so make sure you subscribe to see that and I will see you all in the next video bye